This is a preview from one of our hair color master classes. In this class, I'm going to give her a bleach touch up. I'm going to tone her with a level nine ice gold toner, and I'm going to use scissors to cut in some layers to give her a new shape. I added professional Olaplex products number one and two to the bleach formula. What you see here is Olaplex number two processing on her hair after the bleach touch up. The previously bleached ends are level 10. The new growth I lifted is a level nine. I wanted to share with you the ingredient you need to look for when you want to multiply bonds. It's the bis-aminopropyl diglycol dimylate. I know I butchered the pronunciation, but this is a patented ingredient that really uh, multiplies the disulfide bonds. This is our client after I finished processing the uh, toner. I'm using the liquid Reconstructor by Joyco as a leave-in conditioner and I'm backing that up with the Joyco Age Defy Protective Shield. This client previously wore a keratin treatment but she wants to transition back to her natural hair. Well, natural uh, without the keratin. Still, we're going to bleach and tone her. I dropped down to a level 9 from a level 11 platinum. The reason I used an ice gold tone is because I'm going to have to use additional heat to process her. I'm going to say that one more time because she's transitioning to natural hair, no keratin. That means her natural hair is going to be a lot more coarse, a lot more kinky than the processed keratin hair. So I'm going to have to use more heat at the root in order to get that hair straight and, um, balance out the textures. Because the toner sits on the outside of the hair strand on the cuticle layers, anything you do can disrupt it, especially when you use high heat. So if I was going to maintain platinum hair color, I could not use high heat because the high heat of the flat iron at the roots will cause the roots to turn orange. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever got a client up to a nice cool blonde and you went in and you uh, went to flat iron her using either Marcel irons or uh, curling irons and the roots turned orange? Let me know down in the uh, d comments below. High heat is always going to burn the toner off of the cuticle layers, right? It's always going to turn a blonde hair color warm. That's why I transitioned her from a cool platinum to a warm ice, gold ice blonde. And it turned out beautiful, didn't it? I use the uh, root smudge hair color application technique. That's where you apply the hair color to the roots first. Let that process uh, one half to th two thirds of the way and then drag the toner through the ends. That's a root smudge. You can see here where her roots, the new growth, are darker. They have more gold in them than the mid shaft and end. Dimensional hair color at its best. Now this is the before, while her hair was wet. Wet hair color looks two to three levels darker than it actually is. I use the two Joyco leave-in conditioners and I'm using the plastic cap so that uh, the hair does not dry out. With those products in the hair, applying the plastic cap helps those to penetrate and for the hair to stay damp so that it's elastic and I can stretch it and straighten it during the blow dry process. You could see in the wrist motion that it's all about rolling the wrist, rolling the brush and stretching the hair out. I begin by drying the mid shaft and ends. I wait until the end to dry the roots. Why? Because the mid shaft and end are more fragile. And this area of her hair was extremely damaged when she first came in. You can see the damage is area specific. And I go deeper into that later in this video. What I can tell you now, it was the uh, Nourishing Lipid Serum that nourished her hair, enhanced the elasticity, and stopped the breakage. The Nourishing Lipid Serum is a combination of organic cold press oils that are carrier oils and essential oils that actually penetrate to affect change. During the bleaching process and the toning process, we eliminate, we destroy natural lipids. And the Nourishing Lipid Serum, it best mimics our natural lipids and it replaces them, causing our hair to be more elastic, more uh, healthier and shinier. You apply the Nourishing Lipid Serum after you finish styling your hair. You don't want to cook the hair with the oil on it. You notice I moved to a smaller 
brush size. The smaller brush size allows me to get in tight at the root to smooth out the root. Remember I told you first I focus on drying the mid shaft and ends. Why? Because her hair is highly processed. It's been bleached on the ends up to a level 10, right? So that hair is extremely fragile and it can break at the point where the uh, newly bleached hair or the virgin hair that doesn't have keratin on it, where those two textures meet is the weakest part of the hair. So what I want to do is dry that mid shaft and ends first because that will give the hair fiber strength. And once that hair fiber has strength, then I could go in and stretch the hair and smooth the roots with the blow dryer. I'm using ionic and ceramic tools and I'm using an ionic blow dryer. Why? Because the bonds that I'm affecting change in are ionic bonds. I go deeper into bonds, hair color formulation, hair color placement, blow dry techniques in our hair color masterclass on our platform at beautywellnesshaircare.com. But for now, I need you to subscribe, click the bell, Give us a thumbs up so that we know that you appreciate our content and you want us to deliver more. I started the blow dry in the nape and I work my way up in sections. I'm using the small brush to dry the roots throughout the front right panel through the crown and the back and lower nape. The goal is to smooth and align the cuticle layers. And here's a perfect example. It demonstrates the hair strand, the inner, uh, the inner sanctum, the cortex, the outer layers you see that look like fish scales. Those are the cuticle layers. There's the endo, the exo and the epicuticle layer. In the middle, that red dot is a medulla. In fine hair, they don't have a medulla. It's a hollow tube in the center of the hair. And the thicker your hair is, the bigger the medulla. This is a cross section so we can look in further. Once again, that's the cortex. All permanent changes happen in the cortex. Relaxer, cold wave, bleach, permanent hair color. The cuticle layers, super important. They protect the cortex layer. Once again, the medulla not present in super fine hair. And the keratin bundles, what keeps those bundles together are the bonds, the hydrogen bonds, the ionic bonds, and the disulfide bonds. The Olaplex Professional Products, number one and two, are the only products I know that will multiply the disulfide bond. You can buy all of the products and tools that I use in our videos on our platform at beautywellnesshaircare.com. The bonds in our hair that I'm changing, that I'm reshaping are ionic bonds, right? And the hair's ionic bonds are positive bonds and those bonds can cause the hair to frizz. So that's why I use ionic tools and ionic ceramic blow dry brushes because the negative ions emitted from the blow dryer and created from the ionic brush will cause the hair to be neutralized, will cause the charges to be uh, normalized so that there is no frizz and the hair is silkier and it dries faster and it's shinier. I'm going to rephrase that because this is a very important tip. So our hair has naturally uh, positively charged ions within the hair strand due to dryness from chemical treatments and it's the positive ions that cause the uh, cuticle layers to open meaning that the hair is drier it's frizzy it's uh, rough to the touch the more positive the natural charges in the hair the frizzier the hair is so by using ionic tools the blow dryer and the ionic uh brush, what it does is it creates a negative charge and that negative charge neutralizes the ions on the hair strand and that makes the hair silkier, it makes it dry faster, and it makes it shinier. When you're doing your client's hair or you're styling your own hair and there's a lot of frizz and static electricity and flyaway hairs, then you'll know that your hair is loaded with positive ions. And there's a simple solution. Just use an ionic blow dryer, use an ionic flat iron, an ionic blow dryer uh, brush, and that will neutralize the positive ions and it will make the hair smoother and silkier and shinier and the hair will dry faster. 
I also have to mention that the uh, blow dryer brush is ionic and ceramic. And ceramic, uh, the ceramic coating is good for dry, damaged, and fine hair because ceramic um, mediates the heat evenly. Ceramic coated tools will distribute the heat evenly throughout the tool surface without burning the hair strand. Does that make sense? Another analogy is with cooking pots. With cheap pots, they're aluminum and they don't distribute the heat evenly and everything you cook is going to burn because it doesn't conduct the heat evenly. Whereas if you use ceramic uh, Dutch ovens, ceramic cooking pots, they distribute the heat evenly evenly and they will never burn the food you can saute tomato sauce all day and it will never uh evaporate or burn scorch at the bottom of the pot that's because it's ceramic and ceramic protects it protects your food and it will protect your hair And we need the protection to maintain the growth and experience length. Now, this was her hair when she first came in. It was so damaged. She had area-specific damage from wearing a cap, from not uh, adding natural lipids, from uh, friction under a wig, and from waiting too long for her touch-up. When you have two different textures that are very different on the ha ha same hair strand, where those two textures meet, the hair will be most vulnerable and it will break. She's been doing all the right things to her hair and it has really grown out. Out. And this is her hair when she walked in for this bleach touch up and level nine ice gold blonde hair color. Look at her new growth that I transformed with this root smudge. Now we're going to use the shortest point as our hair cutting guide. We're going to use that uh, shortest point right there at the crown and we're going to drag all the other hair in the crown up to that point. It's right now we're at a 90 degree angle but as we pull it up from the sides it's going to be pulled up to a 180 degree angle it's going to be over directed and it's that over direction and that position while i'm cutting the hair that's going to create the layers i laid this elevation chart over the haircut so you can better understand exactly what's going on you see that i'm holding their hair up at 180 degree elevation, I'm using that shortest point as our cut guide where her hair was already uh, broken off. I didn't want to cut all of her hair off, make it an even haircut where it was just like two inches all over. That would have been sacrilegious. In order to save as much length as possible, we use the shortest break point as our cut guide and we uh, over direct it all of the hair to that point to create layers. So in the end, it will be like a shag haircut. So when we talk about elevation in relation to haircutting, what we're talking about is the elevation in relation to the floor, not to the head itself. Elevation refers to the up down haircutting motion, the vertical movement of the hair. Elevation, how we hold the hair, creates the vertical movement in our haircut. And it's the finger angle that determines the depth of our haircut. And it's the elevation that changes the silhouette vertically. It's how we hold the hair, whether it's completely down at zero elevation, which will give us one length, or if we hold it all the way up at 180 degrees, that will give us complete layering. We want to maintain as much length as possible while maintaining some type of shape. That's why we chose the shortest point, the shortest length of hair to be our hair cutting guide. And we're holding all of the hair up at a 90 and a 180 degrees elevation. What that's going to do is allow us to keep more length and weight throughout the perimeter. Understanding elevation is key when becoming a master hair cutter because the degrees of elevation are constant regardless of the position of the hair on the head. Once you master elevation, you can deliver any haircut. We go deeper into elevation in our uh, haircutting masterclass on our platform. I'm using scissors to trim her hair because scissors blunt the ends and blunted ends make the hair fibers stronger, less likely to break. 
not only do I want her to have beautiful blonde hair, but I also want her to have beautiful healthy hair. Now right here in this frame, you'll see where I'm explaining the cowlick right there at the crown of her head. Now that hair grows forward. So because her hair is processed and she that hair is weaker. So by her constantly combing it in the opposite direction of the growth, that can contribute to breakage. She's going to continue using the Nourishing Lipid Serum to nourish and enhance the elasticity of her hair. I wanted to remind you, this was the before. This was her hair when she walked in, almost up to an inch of new growth. And this was her hair after she left. You can see the cowlick right in the crown, how that hair grows forward. All you have to do is think about any baby's hair you've seen. And you you can see the swirls as the new hair grows in well that's what we're dealing with here click the subscribe button give us a thumbs up ring the bell so you can get notified when part two of this uh level nine ice gold blonde hair color video drops we're going to go deep into rearranging the hydrogen bonds and the salt bonds with heat but what do you think about this hair color right it is fantastic it is a level nine ice gold blonde with a root smudge application where the new growth is darker and it gradually gets lighter as it goes to the end. We're all about healthy, beautiful, dimensional blonde hair color. It's hard to believe that her natural hair color is a level one, black as black. This ice gold blonde looks very natural on her. When you master hair color on natural hair color levels one through five, when you're able to live to deliver this beautiful hair color, you can charge a fortune and take your uh, hairdressing career to the next level. And we can help you get there. Come visit us on our platform at beautywellnesshaircare.com. We can help you learn to deal with uh, textured hair in the 21st century. We have videos you can rent and learn how to cut textured hair, how to color textured hair. There's so much you can participate. We even have live master classes, right? You zoom in, you have your models, and I walk you through the entire process, whether it's a hair color correction, a hair color lift, a hair cut, a relaxer. Come visit us at Beauty Wellness haircare.com